an agreement with the city. Richards could will stop collecting, will have to stop collecting Jackson's trash on March 31st at the end of the month after that Supreme Court ruling, which went against Mayor Lumumba. And we could see a familiar name back on the streets of the capital city. One year after waste management ended its decades-long garbage contract with the city of Jackson, it looks like the company could once again start collecting trash in the capital city. We're not going out just trying to find somebody uh, that's new or anything else. We're going to keep with the RFP process, and then we're going who's next in line. According to Special City Council Attorney Deshaun Mard, they're now engaged in negotiations with waste management. That's because it's the next contractor in the RFP process. And this is the council's position. We will continue on in the process and move on to RFP to vendor to. Make sure that if the mayor has not and will not carry out his duties and still allow garbage to build up in the city, that the court system will give the city council the authority to hire a garbage contractor. Mayor Lumumba executed an emergency one-year contract last March with Rich's disposal after the city council rejected a long-term deal with the company multiple times. The council refused to pay the New Orleans-based company for its services. Richards later filed a federal lawsuit and a settlement agreement with the city. Richards' last day to pick up trash is March 31st. Uh, now the question is who's going to pick up the garbage on April the 1st. And uh, it's uh, certainly the council's desire to have a new contract in place. And no word from the mayor's office on where Mayor Lamupa stands on the possibility of waste management coming back into the city. Again, a spokesman had no comment when we asked where the mayor stands on what's next. Richard's disposal still wants to be around. A spokesman says they would like to have another, of rather a full six-year garbage contract for the city. For now, we're live in West Jackson, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.